Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw for Insider Travel Report, and we're here with Brett Tolman, who is Chief Executive of The Travel Corporation. Now, Brett, let's talk a little bit about The Travel Corporation, and for those who may or may not know, and I don't know how many of us don't know, what does The Travel Corporation include today? So as a family run and own business, we have 30 brands in the group. Here in the United States in particular, it's Trafalgar, Insight, Luxury Gold, Kentucky, Uniworld, U by Uniworld, African Travel, AT Kings, and Inspiring Journeys. Very impressive. You remembered all those. It's, it's, it, is, it is an amazing collection. It's probably the largest collection of tour operators that I know. We love what we do. Yeah. Now, the, uh, you, you recently uh, formed a, U a New York headquarters, uh, and, and it's something that you had many years ago. Uh, what was the reason to go back to New York at this time? We had a meeting a couple of years ago, and my father, our chairman, identified that when we left New York in 2003, we had become a bit too West Coast focused. And so the idea to return to New York, which is obviously the epicenter of the East Coast, and has a remarkable wealth of travel advisors as well as uh, potential travelers obviously up and down the east coast right. and then obviously a little further inland it was a great opportunity to return to new york part of our history we started there in 1970 with trafalgar and uh, we're very happy that guy young our chief engagement officer just moved and looking forward to lead that office. Yeah, and I have been there and he is there and he's ready to go and uh, you had a big event uh, a couple months back where you celebrated that opening, right? We did. 18 new uh, sales executives that we have all through from Texas, Chicago, up and down the East Coast. So very excited about them, particularly focused on Trafalgar Insight, Luxury Gold, Kentucky, African Travel and Uniworld. Yeah, no, but some of those uh, brands will still remain out in the West Coast, right? Uh, yeah. No, this is more of a sales presence to support our travel advisors. Yeah. No, and I did notice when and during the event you said it really was uh, in, in large part for the travel advisors, right? Completely. Absolutely. Yeah. We're there to support them and help better understand our brands, what's new, what's different about them, so that they are able to provide their travelers and guests with the right uh, Holiday choice. Right. Now, you've recently had some changes in the executive ranks uh, uh, with some new people, uh, new, new executives at uh, uh, Trafalgar and at uh, Contiki. In fact, I've interviewed uh, your, your new president at Trafalgar, and I'm about to interview the new one at uh, Contiki. But uh, where, where is this going with, with these changes, and, and what are you seeking to do? No, it's just the world evolves. And Paul Wiseman, who'd been with us for over 15 years, had the best year ever in Trafalgar this year and uh, he thought it was time for him to look to new pastures and he's actually moving into uh, sales consulting now, something he's wanted to do for some time. Likewise, Ms. Melissa De Silva, who's been with us over five years, has looked to grow and expand her responsibilities. So we always believe in promoting from within whenever possible. So a great opportunity to promote a remarkable business executive. And Melissa certainly looks forward to leading the Trafalgar team going forwards. And then she recommended someone that she had met before, sorry, worked with before at STA. That's Adam Cooper, Adam, right? Adam correct. Cooper, yeah. And uh, when I met him, I was very impressed, very smart very much obviously gets the, uh, the travel trade having come from that side of the world. So we're very excited to have him on board leading Kentucky because you know, it is the next generation of travelers for travel advisors and having someone who understands that side of it as Melissa did coming from SDA as well. You know, hopefully it's an opportunity for our travel advisors to better understand and book Kentucky for the 18 to 35 year old traveler. No, and it, indeed it is the most highly visible brand in that segment, that's for sure. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the highlights of what's going on with the companies. And we, you want to talk about youth. You have a, a brand new brand within a brand, uh, You by Uniworld, which is uh, going to come out coming out next year. Uh, talk a little bit about that and why you decided to create it. Sure. So. You know, 80 million people in the 18 to 40 year old demographic in the United States, a huge demographic obviously, one that's going to keep growing and uh, likewise we saw Uniworld being, or river cruising really, and the Uniworld segment to be a great opportunity to expand knowing all that we do about the Kentucky Traveler. And so uh, Ellen Betridge, our CEO and I, 
have worked on this for some time and so we're very excited about the launch. We actually have a social influencer cruise that goes off in October. Mm -hmm. You may have seen we're doing a uh, promotion for five right. savvy travel agents within that uh, demographic mm -hmm. age who will come along. We have an amazing uh, guardian angel as we call her. Godmothers are only for the first time you name a ship so a guardian angel when you rename a ship we thought was more appropriate. Petra Nemkova who I met through WTTC mm -hmm. and uh, she does remarkable work rebuilding schools around the world that have been destroyed in uh, natural disasters and a supermodel. And, uh, Not bad to have all those things. Right? No, and a remarkable lady. Yeah. So it'll be a great way I think to really launch the brand to that demographic and on social channels and certainly look forward to having our travel advisors on board that will be engaging with it and we see it as a great opportunity to extend the Uniworld um, demographic that we're talking to. These ships are very much designed uniquely for this demographic. We thought 21 to 45 was more the age demographic being obviously river cruising does appeal to uh, a wide segment. Our family cruises have done very well on Uniworld but we're going to be very specific to that 21 to 45 year old demographic. The itineraries, the design, the culinary offerings, the experiences are all very much catered to that uh, demographic. So very excited, had a huge response from our travel advisor colleagues, so uh, looking forward to launching it. Well, it's a great idea. It's something that I've long advocated that we could change the demographics of river cruising, uh, which, you know, they say is 55 plus and sometimes you find that 65 plus. Uh, but uh, the only sad thing is I don't I no longer fit the demographic. I don't know. I don't think either of us does, but uh, it's too bad. It sounds like it'd be a fun ship, right? It does. Look forward to sharing that and obviously great being here at uh, Virtuoso Week to uh, launch it with yeah. our travel advisor friends here. Right. Now, any other highlights that you want to talk about, some of the other brands or what's going on? Sure. So Trafalgar continues to evolve uh, with some of the new destinations that we're selling, Sri Lanka, Japan. Many of our new destinations have done extremely well. Europe continues to grow. Iceland, Ireland all continue to be very strong destinations. As I mentioned earlier, we've had our best year ever. Insight's doing very well. We have a new leader there as well, a uh, lady by the name of Ula Heffelbola, who has done all of our operations mm -hmm. in Europe for over a decade. Brilliant lady. So looking forward to her taking the brand forwards with John Bolding, who is with us over 25 years, retiring this year. And then Luxury Gold has had another slight twist in reinvention. Our new brochure comes out shortly. Very much an editorial style magazine now as opposed to just a brochure. So, and also we've changed some of our offerings. So more leisurely, very much like an A&K holiday as opposed to a uh, tour holiday that Insight provides. Mm -hmm. uh, so very excited about that. Inspiring Journeys, a brand that we launched in Australia and New Zealand uh, but almost 10 years ago, which is soft adventure, small groups, 20-seat uh, SUV type vehicles, is doing well and we're looking to roll that out further into the United States this year as well. Red Carnation having a fantastic year. Uh, they're fantastic hotels. Yeah. They are. So, uh, and the last thing I want to talk about a little bit is your more charitable organization uh, and what it does and how maybe travel agents can help. Okay, so it's a non-profit organization that we, foundation that we started 10 years ago. The idea being that, you know, we all need to give back in one way or another. And part of the philosophy is that we take some of our annual profits, put them into the foundation from the different brands. All of our brands support Treadright. And we work to help protect and preserve the places and the cultures that we take travelers to. Uh, that's two key pillars that we apply that to. One is wildlife preservation and conservation. Working with amazing organizations mm -hmm. that are out there, such as Wild Aid, helping to try to communicate that one shouldn't be killing um, elephants, rhino and so forth for their horns and their tusks and then others that support actual poaching uh, prevention on the ground mm -hmm. in Africa as well as India we work. We signed a wildlife uh, preservation uh, doctrine four years ago mm -hmm. and we've taken out of all of our experiences now no more elephant riding we don't go to zoos we don't run with the bulls on our youth brands anymore and so forth so that's part of that ethos that's coming through our CSR as well and then our other key pillar is supporting bringing artisans into industry mm -hmm. and that's through the Alliance for Artisans that was started by Hillary Clinton's Aspen Foundation some time ago and that's a great opportunity to help women in various destinations either supporting them with their craft or helping educate them to bring them in and that's uh, working with textile makers in Cusco, 
-hmm. in Ecuador where we take our travelers and they can buy their um, products mm -hmm. or in Italy for example in Perugia we support this lady Marta who's the eighth generation of an amazing textile mill in Italy so amazing work and then we, in Toronto we go and uh, we support these people who make the maklak boots mm -hmm. from the native indigenous uh, tribes there and that, so that's fantastic these are things work. you're inculcating with all your tour programs right, right. Yeah, right. and then we work with me to we which is uh, Craig and Mark Kielberger who do remarkable work. I was just in uh, Kenya with my family this summer helping build a school. So the idea is to do what we can, and so many travel companies do it. Uh, Matthew Upchurch just actually started a uh, sustainability symposium mm -hmm. yesterday to see what Virtuoso can do, so sharing some best practices. So you know, I think travel advisors can and need to know more, and we're certainly doing all we can. We're producing some new videos with Celine Cousteau, who's our ambassador for uh, Treadright, mm -hmm. the granddaughter of uh, Jacques Cousteau, okay. uh, to help educate advisors as well as our own teams on what we can and should be doing more about. And if you look at treadright.org, you can learn more about what the organization does and some of the programs. Fantastic. Well, Brett, thank you very much for filling us in. A lot going on with the Travel Corporation, and we'll look to hear more uh, as you develop your New York headquarters and as all these new products come online, such as you by Uniworld, which I, I personally am very excited about because I've been looking to s saying that should be something that River Cruising should be all about. It's great to see you and great to catch up with you here at the Virtuoso Travel Week. Thank you, Travel Advisors. I'm James Schillinglaw for Insider Travel Report.